Who are you? So something very exciting is happening on Sunday and it's not daylight savings time because that happens every year. It is the season two premiere of NBC's Timeless. Woo! I am so excited. The fans are so great. They were able to get the show a second season, which is really miraculous when you think about it. I'm gonna give you like a very quick recap of what happened in the first season so you can be prepared for the second season. So Timeless season one, here we go. Okay, if you don't know already, the show is about time travel. Now, the whole premise of the show is that these three people, they're going after this guy, his name is Garcia Flynn, he stole a time machine. You're thinking, how can they chase him if he stole the time machine? Well, they have a backup in the place where the time machine was built. The time machine was built by Connor Mason, and he's a rich guy who owns this big company. He builds a lot of stuff. The three people they recruit are a professor, a soldier, and a guy who works in Connor Mason Industries. Now the professor, her name is Lucy Preston, right? She's a college professor. The next person is Wyatt Logan, he's a soldier. And the third person is Rufus Carlin, he's a genius and he works at Connor Mason Industries. He can also pilot the time machine. They can't do it, but he's the only one that can, which is why they bring him along. Now, the whole objective of the first few episodes is to catch Garcia Flynn, the guy who stole the time machine, and bring him to justice because he's killing people in history, like recklessly, right? So they have to catch him. And then later on, they find out that the real reason why he's killing all these people is because he's trying to kill the company that they work for, and that name is Rittenhouse. Now, Rittenhouse, in the present day, they are the ones that bankrolled Connor Mason's time machine because they want to control history. By the end of the first season, Lucy finds out just how strong her connection to Rittenhouse really is. Basically, that's the whole premise of the first season, trying to get Garcia Flynn and then finding out that he's still, you know, a bad guy, but he's not as bad as they once thought he was. He has a purpose for what he's doing to get rid of Rittenhouse. Now, the reason why I love this show so much is because history to me is very inspiring. It's inspiring to see real people who go through struggles and overcome them. The people in history, they inspire the people of the future. And that's what I think. The kids who are planning to march in their schools and protest within the next couple of months, those kids are the ones making history. It would not surprise me if I saw this whole event, the marches, the protests, if I saw them like in 50 years in a history book because that's how influential people are, right? And I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to put into words, but what basically what I'm saying is that people making history, they don't know they're making history. Like I'm sure, you know, when those men were signing the Declaration of Independence in 1776, they did not know that the United States would expand past Boston and New York of course, I mean, the way it happened was not very nice. But still, you know, they didn't know that America would expand that much. I mean, how could they know, right? And it's like, there's this really great quote from Timeless from one of the characters. It's from a great character. The show is full of great characters, I think. Like, there's so much representation. But, you know, you can see that for yourself. But basically, this character... They said that history is full of choices, good ones, bad ones. It's just full of choices. And we don't know which direction it's going to go where. And that's so true, right? So it's going to be premiering on Sunday. If you're a new watcher to the show, that's fantastic. There's a recap of the first season that can tell you something so much better than I could. It's just look for um, season one recap on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find it. Don't forget, it's this Sunday, March 11th at 10 o'clock. Check your local listings on NBC. So yeah, thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. This is my second video. I was not gonna do this originally, but you know, I decided this is relevant to this week. So I'm just gonna do this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye. Who are you again?
find the doctor. Doctor? Doctor who? Well, the crossover we can only hope for.